Wake Forest Baptist Health was recently awarded a $28 million grant to coordinate a large national study. It'll focus on preventing memory decline in Alzheimer's in older adults. I'm here with Dr. Laura Baker, and she's one of the principal investigators, and she joins us now. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank we you. appreciate you. All right, so can you tell us a little bit about the study? So this study is going to test whether lifestyle change, a healthier lifestyle, can protect memory and thinking skills uh, for older adults who are at risk for developing a memory problem. So what do I mean by at risk? These are people who have a first degree family history, mother, father, sister, brother, who had memory problems or Alzheimer's disease. These people may be at higher risk and these are the people we're looking for in, in this study. This lifestyle study, the, the whole idea is to see if we can change lifestyle so that it's healthier habits with mm -hmm. exercise and diet and getting out into the community and being engaged socially and intellectually. Can that protect the brain as we age? We have no medications to mm -hmm. do this. We have no medications right now to protect. So our best chance is to restore health to the body in, F, in order to restore health to the brain. And that that's, would that's be the awesome. focus here. All right, talk to us about why Wake was chosen to lead this. Well, we're fortunate here in Winston-Salem. We have a large number of experts at Wake Forest who have studied how lifestyle can protect us as we get older, uh, protect the brain in particular. And Wake Forest is one of the national leaders in the country in coordinating very large studies focused on helping older adults age better. Mm -hmm. And so we're very fortunate to have that. But also, we're in an area in Winston-Salem where the risks uh, that, that do the, that certain factors that increase your risk for developing Alzheimer's disease are in high prevalence, like cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes. Those, will, those conditions will increase your risk. And so this is a very good place for us to be. All right, so you need people for this study. How, how can they get involved? Yes, I do. So we are now in the process of sending out many, many of, of these kinds of postcards into the, uh, in, by mail into the community. Um, if we are looking for people with a first degree family history of Alzheimer's disease or memory impairment, if this arrives at your mailbox, please give us a call. This is, we need your help in order to find a cure we've got to have your help and remember the first person who is ever cured will be a research participant all right give us that number to call or the to get in touch with you is 1-833-361-7591 and to learn more about the study you can contact us at pointer study at wakehealth.edu very important work thank you so much we appreciate you